Hey folks and welcome back to Shaggy's Car Shop. On tonight's episode, we're going to be taking a little break from the uh, rust bug that's over in that area. Um, something I've been meaning to do or start on because as soon as the Firebird gets out of the shop, it's all a head full on that project and we kind of shoved the Volkswagen off in a corner. Um, but I need to get working on my homemade serpentine belt for this big block caddy motor. Um, I know you can buy them, but going online, they want close to two grand, give or take, something like that. Two grand, 2,500 for them. And that's just not in the budget for me. So without any further ado, let's get to the video and I'll show you what I'm gonna do on this project. So starting off um, with this crank snub on these uh, 500s, 472s, these big block caddies, um, it's really hard to find parts for them. So as you can see this pulley looks a little um, junkyard-ish. That's because that's where it came from. Um, I think this came from a 3.0 Ford and I know it's putting a Ford product on a GM. Hopefully it doesn't curse it. There's a little uh, Ford symbol in here that I'm going to have to grind off just to get rid of. Um, but with no modification, it fit right over the center hub. Actually, I, I think I had to take a little bit of uh, sandpaper on there, but it fit right over that. And then my four bolts lined up. On my water pump, I do believe I ordered this from somewhere online. I don't remember where, but this is a water pump pulley for a like a 50 Ford, like a small block Ford. Now the neat thing about this, I bought shims because I didn't know how it was going to line up. And let's see. All right, so for the lineup of this, I'll get you guys a better camera angle. So, I don't know how well you can see that, but they lined up perfectly. So I didn't have to shim this at all. Now, this pulley from the inside right to the outside edge is two and seven eighths, something like that. So just so you have a reference of how far it comes out. I bought like three or four that I could find out in a junkyard, different ones. Um, and this one, there were some that stuck out like three, four inches. Obviously that didn't work. All right, let me bring you back around and kind of give you the rundown of what I'm going to be doing. All right, so I built kind of a cardboard template. And here, let me get these plug wires out of the way. That's not where they're gonna live forever anyway. But I need them out of the way. So basically, this cardboard template, and then if this is sitting right down on the snout of the water pump pulley, I don't want it that low. Um, but I'm gonna bring it up just a hair off of that. Okay, then I still have adjustment for my distributor over here if I'm changing the timing. And it'll sit approximately just like that. Now, with that, I got two 7 16 bolt holes over here that come directly off the block. And on the other side, I got two three eighths right here that come off the block. I didn't want to put it off of the heads. Not that I don't trust my uh, ARP head studs, but I just don't want any extra pressure on those. I figured directly off the block, then it has nowhere it can push back. 
But it's what I've done is that little cardboard template I cut out of, um, I think it's 3A steel. When I uh, grab it and kind of mock it up, I'll show you. But I cut that template out of it. And now I've been going back and forth on how I want to connect these 7 16 3 8 I'm kind of limited on what I can find around in my area. Um, but is what I happen to find is a spacer that is an inch and a half long. And I think if my metal was 3 8 if I measured right, that puts me at one and seven eighths something like that and from the back or from this surface right here to the back edge of this pulley is where's my math oh there we go two and seven sixteenths inches so i need to bring it out some um i'm trying to trying to have about a quarter of an inch in between the pulley and that plating so i'm gonna have to add a little piece of 3 8 square on the back where I weld that shim in or uh, spacer in so yeah that's where I'm at so far so I guess I'll bring you along while I uh, mess with this heavy piece of steel on the front of my engine so the hard part about making a serpentine for these is gonna have to use your imagination a little bit but the water pump and the crank spin the exact same direction because initially it was a pulley going over here or a belt going over here to your power steering pump and then the air conditioning pump sat way up here in the valley and then your water pump and then these two hooked up and went over to your alternator so to get them to run the same direction as the belt comes around you have to put an idler pulley here an idler pulley here and then I'm gonna visualize a power steering pump over in this area maybe out a little further tensioner pulley and then on this side it's gonna be my alternator and my um, air conditioning pump so yeah that's my idea right now because I got to leave space right here for my water pump where that hose comes on and I also got to watch out because my oil filter is right here off the front although I might get a relocation kit for that I don't know yet we'll find out we're kind of playing it by ear with not having it in the car but from all the pictures I took I'm just kind of guessing so all right let me bring you back once I get my uh, piece of steel up in here and show you what I'm working with all right, folks, there it is so far. I just have two of uh, my bolts in here. Um, yeah, it was kind of a little bit of a struggle. Um, I know it looks a little rough right now, and all my welds back on the back side. I'm going to need some cleaning up, but is what I'm thinking. Power steering pump somewhere off in here something like that maybe I don't know somewhere in there give or take down up I'd almost like to do a little bit up because I have a small pulley so my belt will come off come like that and around and then I gotta figure out some sort of tensioner I gotta look at what I can find for different sort of tensioner pulleys but if the belt come around hit the main crank pulley you know I don't know if I gotta I don't want to go much wider I suppose I could give myself more room I don't know I gotta figure that out but then like I said I have a um, idler pulley that can go here around over and around and then around the crank pulley and then alternator and uh, air conditioning pump on that side let me bring you around the back side and
All right. So there's what I did with the backside. So I was able to find a couple of uh, 7 16 inside diameter spacers, but they were only an inch and a half long. So then I had to take and there you go. Now you got a better view. Weld a piece of this plate on there, which is 3 eighths. And then the 3 eighths of the plate itself. And I got my spacing on the back side of my pulley. So the belt will run approximately a quarter of an inch off of this metal plate. But yeah, like I said, it looks a little rough now, but once I get the edges all cleaned up, ground down, everything done, I think it'll work pretty decent. All right, folks, that's it for tonight's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll bring you back either for some more Volkswagen work or I guess we'll keep plugging away on this. I don't know. I got to, again, I got to think of what I want to do for my power steering and a tensioner. I like to come up, hit a tensioner pulley, and then around. Give a little more bite on my crank pulley, but... All right, that's it. Thank you.